the last chapter of our story is here, as our unlikely heroes face the source of their fear. A demon below is ready and set to destroy the cast of Are We Dead Yet? Dr. Mordow is going to turn to the rest of the party and be like, uh, we're expected. Like, expected to chat? You can chat. By all means. Any motions for you to proceed forward through the hole? Okay. I guess the way things waiting for us, I guess Gigi is going to go, maybe. <laughs> he sees us anyways. <laughs> right? So, I mean, yeah, sure. Well, you are the talker. We got two. We got two <laughs> rogues in here itching to just assassinate this guy. <laughs> so I actually can we can we try and sneak? Yeah, you can try and you can try and hide. I was wondering maybe one of us can try and hide and grab the gem, and one of us can get behind him. I have that glue. Just a note: the the gem is floating about fifteen feet off the ground. We can still figure it out. Oh, okay, I'm just, I'm just letting you know. Like, it's not just a run in, grab it, and go. I can hippity hop. Position the barbarian so that someone can just I jump mean, off. I let him. Gigi be the distraction. That, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Is you're gonna go talk, so yeah, we can we have can, one yeah. of the <laughs> rogue sneak up behind Gigi the whole way. Gigi can stand under the thing. So, how big is this guy? He's large. He's standing about, you know, very proud, 15 feet tall. So I have that glue. Yeah, you do. What we can try here is, um, if you guys can distract him, I can set up something. So if someone can get him to step in it, I need a minute for it to dry. But it's a very long minute. I agree, but if we can pull it off, then that'll make this fight super easy. Hell, maybe we can get away with not even fighting if we just trap him and then stop the ritual. Haha, <laughs> Gigi will be the bard. <laughs> and then, um,. So I can go lay that down, and then Thurlow can try and sneak up with Gigi so that when we're ready, he can grab the jewel and we can pull the trigger. Here's the play. We're going to do it that way. Um. Oh my god. What is... Gigi. Gigi, you have to distract him. And then when it's go time, you have all that strength. You either have to push him or get him to step back. Uh, Finley, what do, what's the, uh, what would be my signal to know when you guys are ready and I should push him? Oh, I got a, uh, 23 on my stealth roll, by the way. Okay. John, I have a 25 on my stealth roll. Okay. And, uh, yeah, Finley throws out the plan really quick, pulls his hood up, and he says, good luck, don't get me killed. All right, so Finley, uh, describe how you sneak uh, behind this, this devil. I just, I guess I'm going to kind of hug the walls all the way around. Yeah. Use, uh, use the rubble to kind of duck underneath as soon as I get around the corner. Um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of lean on the uh, camouflage abilities of the cloak. Okay. Uh, it, no one pays you any mind. Awesome. Yeah, I just want to slowly make my way around, get behind him, and... Uh, once Gigi starts um, engaging him, I want to start laying out uh, a big fat line of the uh, glue behind him. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, Gigi's gonna. So Gigi's gonna walk on in with a smile on his face. Uh, the devil smiles back and he says, "Thurlow's following." You said you're following. Yeah, I'm sneaking behind Gigi. Oh, sneaking. Got it. Uh, he says, uh, "Welcome, Gregory." I've been waiting for you. And Gigi's gonna look at him and surprise like, oh, me? Yes. Well, what for? You and your allies have proven yourselves very strong. I would like to make a deal with you. Oh. Okay. What what kind of deal did you have in mind? This is very surprising. Yes, 100 years of your servitude, and I will grant you any single wish you want. But I won't live for a hundred years. He smiles. Not if I have anything to do with it. Oh. Uh, Doctor Mordhau is also beside you, because uh, he walked in oh. too. Oh, I didn't. I didn't hear you and... say that. Uh, 
Uh, I didn't have a chance. So he's going to turn to you and... Um, Dr. Mordhau, you as well, 100 years of servitude, and I will grant any wish of yours. Mordhau will be no servant to anyone but himself. Very well. Have it your way. Gregory, will you take my offer? Yeah. Well, can I, like, can I know, like, what what the rules are exactly? Like, what kind of servitude exactly? You will fight alongside me in my armies of hell. We will bring peace to the world above. No more war. No more fighting. Just order. No more fighting? But didn't you just say I had to fight for you? Well, yes. We, we must rid the world of the violent ones so that there may be peace. But that's more fighting and I'm trying not to fight anymore. It's just a few more years of fighting, Gregory, and... Then it will all be over, and you can finally rest. But that's a hundred years of my life! Oh, no, no, the contract's a hundred years. Uh, the, the, the fighting may only last one or two. Yes. So, Finley, I need you to give me a sleight of hand roll to, uh, under this immense stress, pop the cork on this bottle and lay the glue. 28. Jesus Christ. I even made the DC high, so you, like, had a chance at failing it, but okay. Um, yeah. Everything <laughs> goes according to plan. Perfect. Yeah, Finley is scared shitless, and he knows that there's only one shot at this, so... Uh, no room for error. He throws it down as quick as possible. Let's just start drying. Um, are we good to go? Talking to me? What's actually Kermit doing during this? Uh, Kermit stayed in the other room and is just listening and waiting oh for his God. stuff to break bad. <laughs> okay, well, that's what I thought the doctor was going to do. So I was like, did Kermit, did Kermit come as well? Or <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, the good doctor to have a uh, discourse with the devil is definitely going to have discourse with the devil. Just don't fuck it up. So Kermit's literally just counting the seconds, like, yep, till it all fucks <laughs> up. <laughs> yep, just like one one thousand. To 1,000. <laughs> I, from the back, am in an optimal spell casting position. <laughs> and uh, sort of while this time's passing here, uh, another body's dragged to the center of the circle, stabbed, and you see their soul scream in anguish as it flies into the gem. Okay, Gigi's gonna be like, wait, 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 pause, pause on the death. What, what, what is this? They're not fighting. They're just innocent people. Uh, no, no. These people are far from innocent. These are the violent ones we must punish. I was telling you about them. But can't, can't you just pause the death while we're talking right now? I just, I'm a little sensitive to these things. I'm afraid I'm on a very tight schedule. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of schedule? Well, as I said, you will fight along me and my armies from hell. I must bring my armies here. Well, how much time do you have left? Oh, I'd rather not say. John, that's exactly what I was waiting to hear from him. So when I say, when he says, I need to bring my armies here, I'm going to hippity hop my way in and I'm going to cast Banishment. Okay. I need a charisma hippity saving hop. throw. <laughs> you said charisma? Yes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh God. What's my DC? This is boy. not part of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> What's my DC, buddy? 17. So that's going to be a 22. Fuck. <laughs> and uh, can I get a dexterity saving throw in response? Uh, sure. I rolled a 22, so it's okay. So as Kermit casts the spell, you're going to see the fiend immediately throw his attention in Kermit's direction. He's going to raise his left hand, snap his fingers, and you're going to see a small ember fly towards Kermit, and it explodes in a fireball. Fuck. <laughs> John, is my glue good? Uh, yeah, your your glue should be ready for him to him to sit on it now. Okay. Uh, the second that happens, Finley pulls the hood down, shouts now. Okay. Thumbs up. How much damage do I take, John? Uh, that's 13 fire damage. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> you fool. You think you can use magic on me? I will show you the meaning of pain. I mean, it, it usually works. Ribbit. Uh, well, Gigi, well, he's talking. Can Gigi bum rush him really fast and push him? Because I'm guessing that happened during it. Yeah, we're going to do a, a strength contest here. So give me an athletics or a strength roll. 31. Just to put a cherry on top, I'm going to go ahead and flash a genius and add plus five to that. Oh, my gosh. 
gosh. Make that 36. Oh my gosh. Describe how you attempt to shove this thing. Full wrestler, just grab him around the waist if he even has a waist, because I actually don't know what this thing looks it's like. It's humanoid. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going to do that and just fucking plant, shove him down. Plant him on his ass. All right, yep. so. <laughs> Go all Hulk on it. Gigi you know, roars in rage, and they, they just full-on, like, lineman this guy, uh, shoulder into the gut. You actually hear and see, like, a little puff of smoke as he, he has the wind knocked out of him. He falls to the ground with a very loud thud. You even see some rubble fall from the ceiling and the walls of the cave. Gigi, you then stand over him. It takes him a second, and he goes, Ugh, You're stronger than you look. And he attempts to get himself up, but his wings are glued to the ground. Ooh. Yay. Oh my god, it worked. You. <laughs> you imbeciles. Gigi, I'll go with uh, Dr. Mordhau and uh, Finley. Where are you at, Thurl? You're behind. Uh, so yeah, everyone but Kermit, I need a dex save. Ooh. Oh no. Dex a dexterity save? Correct. Oh god. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. I have a 25. Okay. Unnatural 20. Okay. Uh, math is hard. I have a, adding my flash of genius, I have a 14. Okay. I have a 22. Okay. Uh, it was a 21 to pass. Uh, so if you failed, you're going to take 23 <laughs> damage. If you passed, you're going to take uh, 12 damage. 12 damage? I have evasion, so I take zero. Okay. Well, good for you, buddy. Yeah, is it rounded up or down? <laughs> I also have evasion, well, so I take half. Yeah. Oh, well, good for you, buddy. 12. Well, I get half. 12 is ha it half, right? It's half damage? Yeah. What kind of damage? Fire. Yeah, he just he just flung another fireball at you guys. And I'm going to need some initiative rolls now. 24. 21 for Finn. 22. Uh, Dr. Morto has a 19. I have a 19, so uh, Sherman and I have to roll off. I rolled a 1. You go first. Oh, okay. So, Josh, you, you've got the initiative order first here. Damn you, Josh! I love taking the alert feat. <laughs> I am just going to cast a, a level four guiding bolt on the devil. And how is a 23 to hit? That's going to hit. Cool. Uh, 76... That's for 24 uh, radiant damage. And the next attack roll has advantage. Okay, how much damage did you say that was? 24. 24. Cool, all right. And I don't really have any bonus actions, so I think that'll do it. All right, Chris, you're up. Thurlow. All right. Um. Is anyone standing around him immediately? Yes, that'd be Gigi. Yeah, I would say Gigi's directly in front. Okay. And Finley, technically, because he was- Yeah, I'm right behind Finley's him. Finley's directly behind Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. right. Well, then I'm, I'm just going to saddle up to his side and uh, alpha strike his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to give him everything I got. Sneak attack. Are we flanking? Including- uh, You're flanking and he's prone. <laughs> Including, where's my uh, booming blade? So 25 to hit with my main hand attack. That's going to hit. Do, do, do. Uh-huh. Oh, 11 with the offhand. 11 with the offhand? Yep. So that, that will not hit. That takes my damage down to 30. Wait, 30 damage? 30 damage. Okay. All right, Finley. We still gotta deal with the gem. Yes. It's just magically floating there? Yes. Do I think I could knock it down with a dagger or do I have to physically get it? It looks too large for the inertia of the dagger to really affect it. How big is it? Like, is it That's like- That's what I was about to ask. Is it like, it's is it about the size of, like, it's about the size of Finley. Oh, geez. Oh, shit. Yeah, I guess I never said anything about that earlier, so. You did not. Well, then I guess it takes the inertia of someone the size of Finley. Um, do I think Gigi is still positioned in a way where I could 
get off her and grab it. Like springboard onto it. You're gonna springboard off of me? Yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult. So you know, my you know, this isn't a guaranteed, but yeah, you could you could do it. I mean, I got the actions and the numbers to possibly do it. So let's do it. <laughs> I'll need a acrobatics roll to pull a maneuver off, and I'll need a athletics roll or a strength roll to uh, grab onto the gem and move it around. Acrobatics seven becomes a ten plus thirteen, so twenty-three. Okay. Oh yeah, nat twenty for the athletics. Alrighty. Hell yeah. One second here. Wasn't expecting anybody to do this. I die, right? I just <laughs> die. <laughs> yeah, is it like the witch phylactery <laughs> where you just touch it, it your and your soul rice. gets sucked in? No. So, Gigi, you feel a very light set of feet jump off of your shoulders as Finley runs at you, jumps on top of you, and sort of uses you as a springboard to uh, fly at this gem. Finley, you, you fly at it. You manage to grab it, and you and the gem go tumbling to the ground. As you touch the gem, your consciousness is immediately overwhelmed with just this, like, demonic knowledge as the gem sort of shows you the, you know, the hells and what happens in the hells. You're, you're seeing things that aren't meant for mortal eyes. You don't understand what you're seeing, but it is driving you mad. Oh, shit. Yeah, buddy. So could you go ahead and give me a D10 roll? Eight. Okay. So, Finley, you fall unconscious and are unwakeable for eight minutes. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my shit. God. Good luck, guys. Oh, God, someone help Finley. <laughs> oh, God. And with that, Zoe, it's your turn. Okay, let's do this shit. Roar. <laughs> Roar. Okay, let's try a great master. Hopefully this will work to my favor for once in my life. Okay, that was better. I got a 35, so that'll be 30, because it's minus five for the uh, great master. <laughs> Does a 30 hit? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh man, I would certainly I know, hope so. Sure. So, um, does a th- does it does not? A thir- no, a thirty hits. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Zoe, if a thirty didn't hit, we'd all be fucked. Forty-three damage. All right. <laughs> I can go again. Yeah. So yeah, Gigi's gonna raise his his great sword now, <laughs> and um, just slash across the chest, slash him. All right, anyways, I'm going again for my second turn. I'm just going to great master it as per usual because let's let's hope. Uh, 25 to hit. That hits. Yay! That's 19 plus 36 damage. <laughs> They're just screaming in agony now as you're... Yep, I'm just whacking out of yeah. his chest. <laughs> <laughs> is that your turn? Yeah, I'm done. Right. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm done. Sherman, you are up. Alrighty. Dr. Mordow is going to kick on his flying boots as apparently no action. That's kind of cool for cool sake. And as he's rushing to Finley, he's going to activate his... Which potion do I want to use? My second elixir which gives me uh, resilience. So I have a plus one to my AC for the next 10 minutes. And I gain nine temporary HP. And uh, I'm going to rush to Finley and cast uh, Dispel Magic on his, on him to see if he wakes up. The So choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range. Any spell of third level or lower on the target ends for each spell of fourth level or higher. Uh, make an ability check using your spell casting ability. The DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. On a successful check, the spell ends. Cool. Uh, go ahead and give me that roll. 19, and we'll flash a genius it for 24. All right, Finley, you are awakened. However, make it hurt. Oh, <laughs> it's going to hurt. Oh, no. So the second madness trait I gave you here, uh, you must use your action each round to attack the nearest creature. Oh, sh- oh great. You're awake, but you don't feel like you're home. This doesn't look like like normal to you. You're, you're, you're in a hellscape. Everything around you is demons. Everything wants to kill you. Everything hates you. Perfect. Yeah, I wake up, and the second my eyes open, I start screaming and panicking and trying to back away from Mordo. 
Mordor? Mordow. Mordow? Mr. Doctor? Doctor Doom wannabe. He's like Baron to you, sir. That's Baron <laughs> Doctor Hector von Morhau to you, sir. <laughs> um, Flips hair. Whoosh. That is your turn, correct? Yes, that is my turn. Okay. Uh, the devil laying on the ground yells, Double time! We have to finish the portal faster! Um, a few of the, uh, the shambling creatures uh, serving him uh, begin dragging the gem back into the center of the circle as the rest uh, flee to the outer edges of the circle and begin grabbing bodies like mad. Josh, you're up. Uh, yeah. Well, seeing as Finley is up and screaming, uh, Kermit's going to be totally fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just try to kill, you know, fellow players, but that's okay. That's chill. Mr. Finley, we should not be attacking the doctor. We should be attacking the person on the ground like this. And hold on. Sorry. I am going to cast Spiritual Weapon, and we'll use a third level spell slot because I'm almost out of second level spell slots. And yeah, uh, so I'll cast Spiritual Weapon right next to um, one of these creatures that are dragging bodies. Okay. And I'm going to oh yeah try and hit them with it. They haven't reacted at all to us uh, <laughs> beating on their master. <laughs> Looking at them, you're not sure they have the capacity to. Uh, Slap that bitch. 15 plus 9 is 24. Okay, yeah. So what was your spiritual weapon again? I don't remember what I said last time. Okay. It's the Raven Queen, so we'll just say it's a spiritual raven. Got it. Yeah, so the as soon as the creatures uh, dealt any sort of damage, it just kind of falls apart and melts into the ground. And from the center of the circle, a new one appears and gets right to work. Oh, well, that is counterproductive. And then I'll use my action to bring my battle axe down on this uh, demon dude, since the spiritual weapon's a bonus action. Yeah. So, yeah. And we're still flanking, right? Yes, correct. You're... He's still prone. 26 to hit. That hits. 10 damage. Okay. And that will be it. All right. Thurlow, squid hands, is on deck. How, how beat up is a big guy looking? Right now, he's really just looking pissed off. Hmm. Like, really pissed off. Well, I think the best thing to do would be to uh, just keep poking him. Hopefully, he'll uh, he'll stop his screaming. So, 18 to hit. 18 to hit? Yes. That's actually going to miss. Oh, wow. And then my uh, second attack will be uh, 25 to hit. That's going to hit. Will my sneak attack still go through if it's my offhand hit? So as long as you have an advantage, you you get sneak attack. Oh, that's true. So let's go with this much damage. 44. Just give him a, a little poke in the pack. <laughs> a little poke for 44 damage, yeah. I mean, compared to what Gigi's putting out. I mean, Gigi can fight, tw- uh, can use as a bonus action, so... Uh, and then that's gonna be it for me. All right, uh, Finley. Who's closest to me? Well, I would say that uh, Doctor Mordhau is probably the closest to you since he just uh, pulled you out of your sleep. All right, for some stupid reason, I flew over to you instead of just fucking using spell magic from a distance. Because <laughs> <laughs> did one of those things come grab the gem? Uh, yeah, a Ooh, couple yeah. of them are dragging the gem away. I'll say they're about you know, okay. 10, 15 feet away from you at this point, though. Okay, so they're already away from me. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, it's all right. If it helps, I don't have anything. I can't sneak attack you or anything. I mean, that's Unless good. I'm supposed to, like, go for full force. I mean, you do you, buddy. You just have to attack. Use you, All you have to do is use your action to attack the nearest creature every turn. Everything else is whatever you want. Anyway, so 26 to hit. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's just a dagger. You'll be all right. Nine damage. Oh, perfect. You took out my temp HP. <laughs> I guess that worked out nicely. <laughs> yeah, I literally just draw a dagger and start slashing. Madly. <laughs> Alrighty. Mm. Ah, you insolent fool. That is my turn. GG. 
イエーレッツゴーグレイマスター Cause I'll just keep saying it again 34 minus 30 34 minus 5 is 29 And I know that hits Cause we talked about it Just got the true strike 46 damage Okay And now for my second attack 35 which is 30 that hits It's 33 33 more damage Mm-hmm. Okay Just chop, chopping away at the chest still. Chippity choppity. One Dale hit his heart. It's heart. Their heart. You're just carving away bits、heart. of demonic flesh to get at his rib cage. Yup, it's, it's gonna take a while. If I'm t h e r e There's a few bones exposed at this point. He's not, he's not feeling good right now. <laughs> Ouch. You know, I feel a little bad because it's just on his ass right now. Kind of stuck. Hey, you guys had a good plan. I figured I'd let you use it for a while. Aww. It didn't. Oh, it's prone. Is that why it didn't attack last time?、Uh, last I used、round? its action to do something else.、Uh, oh. 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 Okay. Oops. Oh, yeah.、Oh. This is scary. Okay. I'm done. That's the end of my turn. Okay. That's like 60 damage. Dr. Mordhau. Alrighty. I want to try something a little radical here.、Um, you said that there, some rubble from the ceiling had fallen, right? Yes. Is there any stones that are about 15 pounds? Like exactly 15 pounds?、Uh, 15 or lower. Sure. So Dr. Morno is going to、uh, back away from Finley. <laughs> just, just cursing and shit. And he's going to、um, flick out two magnets of decent size、uh, one to a big rock and the other to the gem. And、uh, the gem is going to need to make a dexterity saving throw as I'm casting catapult on it. Okay. The gem fails its, <laughs> its saving throw, obviously.、Uh, so it's going to take 5d8 damage. Okay.、Um, and so as this rock hits the gem, you, you knock it from the, the hands of the creatures that were trying to drag it back to the circle.、Um, and you notice there's visible damage on the gem now. Uh, do you actually want me to roll that damage or? No. Okay. Cool. Then、uh, the good doctor has a foreseeable plan now. But、uh, that'll, that'll be my turn. Okay.、Um, who all is standing? Well, actually, we. You... Sorry. Go、I、for it. I didn't mean to.、Uh, we're, we're running it where you can chug potions on as bonus actions, correct? Sure. Then I'm going to use one of my greater healing potions. All right. Is that your turn? Yeah, that'll be the rest of my turn. All right.、Uh, who all is standing directly around the, the devil? Me. Me. I as well. Is... Oh, okay. I was like, I thought, I thought Thurlow was there, but.、Um... No, he disappeared. <laughs> I need everyone to give me, or well, all three of you, to give me a dexterity saving throw. Ha 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 ha. The only thing I get is. Advantage! That would be a 9 for Kermit. That would be a 21. Uh, 16. Don't know if that one's gonna work out. Okay, cool. We'll say meets beats. So, uh, GG and Kermit,、uh, you're gonna go ahead and take full damage. Um, Thurlow, you're gonna take half damage. Um,. The devil laying on the ground after you know, you guys just whacking the hell out of it just goes, That is enough of this game. And he snaps his fingers, and a ring of fire appears around him. You then, obscured by the fire, you can't see what's happening, but you hear the sounds of bones snapping and flesh tearing as he stands up now wingless. <laughs> I knew he was gonna、yeah. fucking do that. So, this ring of fire is essentially、uh, if you're standing within 10 feet of the outside,、uh, you will take damage if you end your turn there. And obviously,、Fun、standing、stuff. in the ring will, will do damage to you. A couple of the creatures manage to grab the,、uh, the gem again and、uh, they begin dragging it back to the center. A few of the,、uh, them have made it to the center with bodies and.、Uh, They begin, you know, stabbing them with their ceremonial daggers, and two more souls go into the gem. Someone's got to stop those helpers. What's the damage, by the way, John?、Uh, it was 23 damage. Thank you. 
Ouch. We are now back to the top. Josh, it's your turn. Yeah, Kermit does not like this. One bit. So I'm going to cast. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try Divine Intervention. So I just say, Oh dear what Raven Queen, could you please uh, get rid of this clown? And I fail. Fifty-nine. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I see. So nothing happens. Yeah. So it's okay. So instead, I'll bring my spiritual weapon over here and try and smash this clown. Okay. That is a 21 to hit. It's going to hit. Yay. 11 radiant damage. Or, four, sorry, force damage. Okay. And then I'm just going to, even though I'm probably going to take damage, I'm going to just hippity hop, long, long jump my way um, away from this ring of fire. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give you an opportunity, or give him an opportunity attack here. Sure. Is he using his hands, his physical body to touch me? He's using his mace. Oh, okay. How is a 32 to hit? Yes, that definitely hits. That's going to be 17 bludgeoning damage. Oh, that's not so bad. And? (laughs) And? 50 flame damage. Oh, that's a lot of sixes. Oh, no. (laughs) Uh, 28 Uh fire damage. Oh. 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 Okay. Cool beans. I guess uh, we got our frog's legs after all. And uh, (laughs) he snarls at you. I will show you the meaning of pain. Thurlow. So I dodged the the flame wall. Yes. Would you say I went inside the ring or outside the ring? I mean, we'll say you're outside the ring. Okay. And passing through it would be a deck save? Yeah, you, you could try and pass through it. It's going to be a dexterity save and damage again. Uh, yeah, because he's still in there. Yeah, he's still in there. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Thurlow is not daunted by a wall of fire, and he will uh, hop through in order to continue his... Give me that uh, saving throw. With a 27 saving throw. That passes. So he's going to scoff haughtily at the wall of fire, walk up to the dude, and uh, continue his assault. Okay, uh, we're gonna say uh, you're, you're able to do this because of your size, but you are occupying the same space. For a crit 32 and an unnatural 20. Also hits. What's his AC? Or well, either way, does 20 hit? Yes, 20 hits. For 48 damage. Holy shit. <laughs> and uh, how does he look after taking that hit? He's not looking good. Uh, there are large pieces of flesh missing from his body. Uh, and so that's the end of my turn. I'm just, uh, Thoreau's just going to comment. Blast this, my, this bugger takes a lot of damage. All right, Finley. Mr. Doctor is still the closest to me, right? Uh, I am flying, though. We could say that there's a... Uh one of those sad looking creatures uh, nearby that you could lash out at. Cool. Mr. Sad looking creature gets a unnatural 20 to hit. Okay. Plus five, 10 damage. And it sort of just like melts into the ground and a new one spawns from the center of the circle and gets right to work. Finley panics harder. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That is my turn. All right, GG. Oh, okay, I'm outside of the circle, right? Yes. If you remain here, you will take damage every turn. So I'm inside the circle, but I can only wallop him inside the circle. Yes. Uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna take damage. We'll see how I go. I'm looking, I'm looking a little eh right now, so we'll see after this. Yeah. Okay. 1d20 plus I'm still flanking, right? Yes. Okay. Um, 28 minus 5 is 23. Does that... Yes, that hits. Yay! Okay, that's 40 damage, and I'm going to go again, because what psychopath wouldn't go again? Why are you going again? again? Because I can hit, I can well, I get a bonus action dead, to. So. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> describe that killing blow. Sweet! Ha ha ha! 
Oh, no, I'm so bad at describing it. I'm gonna make it to the heart. I am determined. Does he have a heart? Does it have a heart? Um, you know, I'm not super familiar with devil anatomy, uh, but I will I will just say yes, there there is a heart in there for you to dig or out. I could just, can I, or I could just dig a hole through. I just made it to the end. <laughs> through the, the spot. Other I mean, side. Yeah, it's up to you to find out. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there we go. I just fucking chomp away and I just get to the other side of its body. The barbarian who wanted nothing to do with fighting hacked her, <laughs> his way through <laughs> through the demon. Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. She's just gonna do a little laugh. She's like, ho, 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 a hole in one. <laughs> Never no, mind. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> So the, the fire subsides, those sad creatures uh, dragging bodies around sort of dissipate into the ground. Uh, and a sense of calm sort of overcomes you all. Uh, Finley, your, your vision returns to normal and you now recognize that you're not in hell. Not everything is trying to kill you. Just most things are trying to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I sigh very, very loudly. Is that gem still here? It is, but it has gone gray. Still not touching it. Have the uh, the zombie dudes reacted at all? No, they've uh, actually just kind of dissolved. Can I see outside at all? Is there any kind of like... There are no windows. You are pretty deep underground. Oh, so we have to run back out. Well, I think that worked, Ribbit. Finley Gigi's starts gonna, running. Yeah, oh. I want to. Yeah, Gigi's gonna end his rage and start walking out to the uh, ballroom to see, like, okay. to go out and look. And as see. soon as you guys enter the ballroom, uh, through the broken ceiling, you can see clear evening sky. Did did we do it? I think everything is back the way it belongs. Ribbit. Finley cries. Gaw. <laughs> Gigi's gonna walk over Finley and like rub his back. Very comforting. I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you are alive. How's uh, how's everybody looking? I got five HP left, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am fine. I thought I was gonna fight longer, so I'm good. I took zero damage. Same. Yeah. Because I'm guessing the place doesn't look too hot because there's bodies. I mean, yeah, there's dead bodies <laughs> like everywhere. Literally everywhere. There's <laughs> blood everywhere. The entire, like, above-ground portion of the castle is pretty much destroyed. Um, there's almost no one alive left. <laughs> Finley uh, is going to shake his pile of gold that he gathered while he was we were all downstairs and go, Well, uh, that was... Um, that was fun, guys. Good luck. I, uh, I'm gone. I was never here. <laughs> and I want to make for the front doors. I want to be gone. Yeah, you do it, man. Yeah, Gigi's going to look around and be like, well, all of this violence and destruction has taught me nothing. <laughs> but I must go find myself more into the forest. Even more so now. So... As we're all standing there, I guess minus, minus Finley, uh, looking at the, the clear sky, Thro's gonna clap everyone on the back, well, as far as he can reach. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna like spank my calves? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> with, grab a, grab with, a handful with of With your thigh. tentacles? Yep. With well, your tentacle hands? They're like covered up. So, you know, it's ambiguous. <laughs> they're slimy. Gigi's gonna look over at Thurlow, give a little wink. <laughs> and he's gonna be, you guys are the best buds a, a mate could ever have. You know, we would have had so much fun fighting and killing this demon, and saving, and he's gonna look at all the bodies, <laughs> saving the kingdom. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I wish it'd last forever. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh shit. <Got> him. <laughs> As Thurlow makes his wish, the sword begins to faintly glow blue. Everything goes bright white, and we begin. Not at the gates of the castle, but at a cesspit on the southern wall.
as a rogue with a plan, he's got to get inside. <laughs> Thank you for listening to our Halloween special. Our next episode will release as normal on November 1st, 2021, and we'll be back to our normal evil campaign. Our intro and outro is Vanishing by Kevin McLeod, used under a Creative Commons attribution license. Link in the description. Background music provided by tabletopaudio.com, used under a Creative Commons attribution license. Tracks include All Hallows' Eve, Cry Havoc, Field of Heroes, Endgame, and A New Beginning. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at AreWeDeadYetPod, and check out more of our shows at OneUpPodcasts.com. Special thanks to Patch from Discount Dungeons for providing his voice for the evil laugh at the end. Be sure to check out Discount Dungeons Podcast as well. Thank you so much for listening.